out, bro. There's three kids here. Like, I'm just... Like, <laughs> you're hey. so good, man. Yeah, I mean, you said it, bro. I'm the actual best player in the game. That's what I got from the, uh, like what they were saying. I shot my car and it exploded instantly. All right, yo, I gotta go, guys. The stream is fun. Yo, what up, guys? Metaphor here. I'm doing a commentary over a game that I had on stream the other day with uh, my friend Pie Man. Um, this is a game where we could have had... Okay, well, not a live commentary. Let me just switch that up real quick. It's a commentary over a game that I played on stream with Pie Man. Um, this is a bit of a response video to the last post stream commentary that I did and I wanted to do this because there's a bit of a demand towards me talking about my decision making. I get asked every day, Metaphor, can you do a can you do a video going over your decisions throughout a game, etc. etc. And um yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh just to kind of like unpack what's already happened in this game. I'm gonna be using like this VOD it's especially VOD. I'm gonna be going back and forth on it a lot. Um so first things first things first. I pretty much land here every single game. The reason why I land here every game, no matter what side I'm on, is because you can get several gun spawns. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go way into detail on like what I'm thinking in this game and why I do what I do. So there's a gun spawn right here where Pie Man ran. Um, and if you're the first one in, you can grab a gun and then turn around and kill people at the door. There's gun spawns behind this counter right here. Um, there's gun spawn right there and like five gun spawns in here so it's a good spot to go also you'll notice there's extra money there and i picked up a loadout that's because super Zor is currently glitched right now um and the reason the reason why i land here is because i do this route and then i go up these stairs and you can catch all the people who land on the uh, rooftop and drop down into managers and you can get really free picks that way so i think it's a really good spot to go and you get a lot of really easy kills like that uh yeah so just to talk a bit about the gameplay that we're in, um, this is a game where we could have gotten the world record in. We we ended up dying on it not not early this game. We didn't end up dying early this game, but we 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 one hundred percent could have had the duo quads world record. Uh, you'll understand when you watch the gameplay. The duo quads world record is seventy four. And, I mean, you'll, you'll see. I don't want to spoil when we die or anything. Uh, I mean, you, I, you'll obviously be able to tell by the, the video time. But um, we 100% could have had the, the world record. And we could have extended it by a lot. We, we really got lucky. This lobby isn't a super sweaty lobby by any means. It's a very easy lobby. Uh, somehow we got into a bot lobby. Which isn't an actual bot lobby. That's just what people call people who aren't very good. So, no offense. Just, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, basically the goal is to land super, do whatever you gotta do, uh, grab all the money that you can. This was a glitch superstore lobby, so luckily we have way more money than we should. Uh, and you'll also notice that this is a game about a day before the patch came out where they took the cars out, because uh, people weren't really doing the glitch here. But the glitch is still in the game in this gameplay, but it uh, wasn't popular yet, so cars were still in the game. 
Pie Man is just finishing wiping up Superstore. I went out to grab the bounty because I thought there was nobody else in Super, and I just wanted to go clean up the bounty. Um, he's now calming to me, and someone's on the roof. I'm just checking. I'm also using the Kilo here with the red dot over my normal guns. I've actually been running Kilo red dot lately quite a bit, and I've actually discovered that I kind of like the weapon now with the red dot on it. Compared to like running a VLK or a Hollow, I don't know. The red dot just seems to it reminds me a lot of the ACR from MW2. All right, let's let's actually talk about our decisions here. So <clears throat> let's actually talk about our decisions here. So Pie Man is calming to me that there's a guy on the roof. I can't actually see him, so I think he's just capping. Uh, but I do see this loadout drop on top of the roof of gun. So I don't say anything here, but what I'm thinking right now is if you've watched my stream, you see me do this all the time. And if you've watched other content creators, you've probably seen this as well. Um, but what you can do is you can actually drop loadouts uh, on top of buildings and grab them through the floor if it's really thin. Now, this isn't something unique to this game. You could you could do this back in the day on MW2 if you wanted to as well. Um, but if the wall is thin enough, you can grab your package through it. So... What people are doing, especially at gun store, is they'll throw the care package through the bottom window and the care package will then land on the roof, right? Because you're throwing it on the bottom floor. And then they go up to the second floor right here and they look up and grab it through the top. So that, I've I've already thought about that's what they're doing while I'm gunfighting this guy. And that, that, pays, uh, that plays a part. I'm calming to Pie Man. They have a loadout over there. I'm going right right here because I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna grab the loadout and then come over here. You have to think about this logically, right? So let's say they grab the loadout. They're either gonna go back to the field and go storage, or they're gonna come out this way probably and push super. Not only is going up the middle not really the smartest thing to do, but Pie Man's already doing it, so there's no point in me going up middle with him. So this is something you guys need to do in your games. When you see your teammates taking a path into a certain direction, you want to take a different path. You don't want to follow them. And I'm thinking right now, okay, well, either these guys are on the second floor of gun to grab their package, or they're on the roof because they just don't know about grabbing things through walls. So instead of running through the bottom, what Pie Man's doing, which I think is like just not right, I go on the roof here because I'm either going to have a positioning on the windows, or I'm going to be able to see him if he's on the roof. But then he goes for a res, so, uh, you know, what I ended up doing didn't actually end up mattering that much, but... Just because it wasn't right in this scenario doesn't mean it wasn't the right play. You know what I mean? Yeah, so my guy got downed. I'm, I was thinking there was still one more here because uh, they got, got downed. So Now, you'll notice that we bought another loadout here. Even though we already have our loadout, that's because if you look at our money, we have so much money because of the glitch superstore. We almost had 100k. Um... Yeah, this was this was the last guy. This is what I was communicating to Pie Man. Um, we're grabbing another loadout. We're gonna start solo splitting in quads right now. So Ghost is extremely ideal, even though you normally see me take a restock. But since we're playing quads, it's better to take uh, it's better to take Ghost if you're solo splitting. Uh, so yeah, we we bought another loadout. We still have what sixty k. I grab Pie Man here, so I know I just said I'm solo splitting, but I grab Pie Man here because there's too many people here where if we don't have two with us, it's going to take too long to get through them, and they might end up eating each other before before we get there in time, So or before one player can get through them. So it's better if we both clear this and then split off after. This is really nasty. So Pyman didn't catch on what I was doing here, but you'll see how I parked this crap against the wall, and boom, I have a god tier heady that does not normally exist. Um, and I just have insane positioning. Yeah, I, I started like jerking myself off over it, so. I couldn't see this guy. He's like behind that trash can. But again, you see how Pyman goes left and I go right? It's something I don't even think about when I'm playing. I just subconsciously will always run away from my teammates in fights. 
So you see how Pyman's on the left side, and I'm trying to find an angle as far away where if they're avoiding him, then they have to be seen by me. So they either have to choose to be getting shot by me or Pi. Again, I'm looking to get positioning on this on this wall. This is a bit risky because I know that they should know where I am and I just mantled up over the wall, but we did it anyway. <clears throat> These guys start running. I got to rest my boy. I really, really want to get this kill, but I just can't. He's just too far. And he keeps running away in a way that I can't see him. Through pure RNG. I know he's not intentionally doing it. I was really sad. I wasted a lot of ammo there and I can't loot it either without going out of my way. <clears throat> Alright, so at this point in the game, now is when we're going to split. So now we need to get... Now we need to get another VSAT in the air and see what's actually going on in the map. I'm assuming we pop a VSAT here. We have enough money. And we already have a lot of kills. So the main way that you can tell us the bot lobby is that one... No one's really shooting back at me. I know Byman's gotten taken out a couple times, but I think he's just kind of jumping the gun a bit. But I haven't really gotten shot at. And you'll also notice that there's still 92 people left, which is insane, which means no one else is really fighting anyone. Alright, so now we start splitting. I have Ghost. I still have a stopping power origin, which is the most broken thing in the entire goddamn game. Um... I even said it. If we pop off here, this is a world record game. And it it was. It honestly was. It, it really was. And you'll see it. But, yeah. So, Pi Man goes his way. I go mine. And we'll just talk about these gunfights here. I'm explaining to my chat right now what a world record lobby is. Uh, coupled with, like, you know, you have to think about the fact that, like, you can be the best player in the world, but not get into a lucky enough lobby, right? But I play so many games a day. I play 10 to 12 hours a day. I'm eventually going to find some bot lobbies. You know what I mean? So... They got four people on this buy station. You guys are going to see really quick here that the people uh, the people here aren't the best. And the thing is, is that doesn't take away what I'm doing in these games. Because even if you're playing against not very good players, if there's four of them in one of you, if you do overstep in, in this game with low time to kill, you will die, right? And this is all information that you guys can take in as people who... You might not necessarily be in lobbies like this, um, but you're definitely not playing in the highest skill base bracket most of the time, so you could still definitely take some of what we're saying, or some of what I'm saying, and apply it to your games. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. Alright, so, this is something that's really risky. The whole part about solo splitting, and when you engage on somebody, is you do not ever engage unless you can guarantee down somebody at the start of it. So, I went for opening here because he was in the middle of the open, and we got the quick down, so now it's one v three, and we try to we're trying to mess around and see like kind of what me down and that guy means to that team and how they're gonna react to it. So I get my two downs, and instead of staying where I am, I instantly reposition to the side. Um, they still think I'm over there. Get my two fins, so there's still one down and one up. I think he just finished his res. Now they're hiding up top. I have a stopping power origin. They can't win this. It's not possible. Yeah, that was that was pretty easy. But the only thing you can really pay attention to is how I got my down and instantly moved. If you look at the Blackbird, you can see all the people flying in right now. Care packages are spawning here, so I know I should camp it. This is all just pure RNG. Also, sorry if I sound really weird. I just woke up. That was a gotcha grenade. So these guys look like they're just bots, but like they're just grabbing their loadout. This isn't really their fault. I just bad or it's just bad RNG that I'm here. <clears throat> Finishing my downs right now, just in case I die. Yeah, this guy was blowing my mind. I didn't know where he was. So we're just trying to clean up this kill here and then get to the other side of the map. I'm aware of how big this lobby is, so... 
Yeah, like we're just getting. I'm just getting fed kills right now. Like I. Yeah, I don't know if you can really hear me in the background, but I'm just talking about how good of a lobby this is. This is an absolute. This is an absolute god lobby. Yeah, me and him are getting pretty excited because we we both under like you know remember when I said there was 92 people left? That was several minutes ago, and there's still 75 people left, and we've just been killing everyone. So it's like we are literally the only ones killing anyone. Whole ghost team is on me. Really, really unlucky. Uh, so we try to take positioning behind something they can't shoot through, and we go for some shots. We're in desperation mode right here. I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. It's pretty unlikely that I can even win this. So I'm trying to find a pick right here before I start moving again. I think I got this guy. No, I don't. I heard someone walking around. Yeah, I heard him crouch walking. My audio is very loud. Like, very, very, very loud. Get my fin. Start positioning again. We saw that sniper up in that window. Right here. So I get my fin in safety. And then I start positioning to the right of the shed here. To make sure that I can't get shot by the sniper. Get another guarantee down. So even though this is a 1v4. I've actually had two different 1v1s. Right? That's what you want to do when you're doing this. I can't safely get my down here. I don't know if I have a grenade or not. but No I don't. So I'm assuming that these guys up here are thinking I'm going to go for the down, which means I'm going to peek left, which means if I go right, it's going to be opposite of what they think. And as you could see, they thought I was going to go left. So they're just funneling into me. The guy's still in the window. I'm assuming he's going to peek. The reason why I don't finish these guys is because I'm trying. if it's not safe, I'm trying to bait them into helping their teammates. So if I don't finish that guy, I'm thinking he might peek. But uh, he didn't here. Yeah, there's still 70 left. This lobby gets really weird right here. There's like I don't I don't know what this is, but a bunch of helicopters just fly over to me. It's very strange. Like fucking three of them. And then all of a sudden this new fight just happened out of literally nowhere. Like this this almost seems staged. That's how like what what do you look at the map? Like I was losing my mind. There's random ghost players just sitting by me. I'm just picking up free dubs right now. Like, this this part of the gameplay is really lucky. But, um, yeah, we're just trying to approach this fight now after we get this kill. Because I know there was like a thousand people in the river. And I'm like, okay. One of those teams had to have won the fight. Which means there should be another whole team in this river coming out on my side or the other side. So I'm taking my time. I don't know where these guys are. I don't know if they have ghosts. This guy's down, but I didn't down him, so I'm not going to finish him. Again, because I'm baiting his body for his teammates. His teammates are across the river. You can see them right now. I don't want to take any shots here because I cannot guarantee a down on anyone here. And even if I did down somebody, what does that mean, right? If I down somebody here, then those two people will turn around on head glitches across the river, and I won't be able to finish my down. And... I won't be able to cross this river again because they're going to have permanent glitches on me and I won't be able to stop it. So it's actually worth nothing for me to finish this down here. Or it's it's worth nothing for me to shoot across and go for it down here. It's literally worth nothing. So this gets a little scary because there's a sniper on the left side of the river. Um, you, you can't hear it, but there, while I'm doing this, I understand there's a risk here. I understand there's a sniper on my left, but this is a world record game, so... You have to take risks if you want to get it. Um, this might not have been the best risk to take, though. But, uh, yeah. You see, you saw the sniper right there. I didn't pause it in time, but we crossed. Get the wipe. The sniper down the other guy. So I'm laying in prone right now, trying not to get hit. I'm going to keep sliding so I don't get sniped from behind. This is all risky. I could easily get a headshot right there, but I don't. And this is, this is a situation where I definitely fucked up, and I should have died. So these guys are not looking at me. I get a free down, so I take it. Um, but now the issue is that they are in god mode positioning, and I don't actually have a way out. 
I have basically thrown the game right now in terms of I'm going to die here and then I have to open my gulag just to get back on the map. I ego child the fuck out of that guy with one HP. Keep moving. Ego child that guy too. Very lucky. So we'll just go over this play again. So I go for the guarantee down. My car placement's pretty bad. I have no way out, but it is what it is. I keep this thing in between me and what I assume is to the other, to be the other guy. So typically, most people don't stand on top of each other. Most people who are like decent at the game, I know I was saying before these guys aren't decent, but I'm kind of nervous because this is such a good game, and I'm trying to play this smart, right? I'm trying to play as aggressive as possible, but also play smart. So I'm thinking if I run over here, I can maybe isolate a 1v1. I'm just I'm just trying to find a 1v1. Because right now it's 1v2, plus they just rest somebody, so it's going to be 1v3. But I, I keep trying to find 1v1s. So I keep this thing on my left, and I try to peek one of them. I know if I go around the corner just a little bit more, the guy on my left will see me. So I isolate this 1v1, barely get it. And I've... I have one option here and one option only. If I want to win this play, I have to force this 1v1 before this guy either self reses or gets rezzed by his teammate. I'm hoping that the guy that is still alive is bad enough to go for the res here instead of challenge me on his god tier positioning. But we'll see. And then, of course, he's not. But he's just standing in the open. He's not head glitching anything. I should have died there for sure, but I didn't. Got very lucky. Played it okay, but I got very, very lucky. At this point in the game, I'm asking Pyman if he wants to, like, if, if he needs my help, but he's 700 meters away. And we're on a bit of a heater. So, we're like, fuck it. We'll just keep splitting. I go back across the river. I have 28 kills right now, which is just so many. Like, I don't even know where they all came from. Uh... Yeah, and it's basically round two in this area. Trying to pull up underneath them. We're not driving straight at them. Getting out a little bit early uh, and so that they can't see me. I still have Ghost on. Going for a guaranteed down. God, that guy hit... That guy just hit the best shot of his life. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really nervous here because I just lost my self-res, which means if I go down, I'm dead because Pie Man cannot res me. So I literally cannot die here. And we're trying to get world record, bro. And world records aren't... You don't you don't make mistakes and get world records. You know what I mean? You don't. You you, you don't. You got to play perfectly. And that's a bad mistake. So... I thought that guy was going to keep running left. That's why I shot. But look how bad it is that I shot. Look at now everyone on the planet knows where I am. So I do the only thing I can. I break I break the line of sight and I jump down the hill. And I try to loop as far as I can. The reason why I go as far as I can here is because by the time they realize I've looped, I'm already further than they could possibly imagine because I looped instantly. You know what I mean? Whereas like if I hesitated and then looped, they wouldn't be so far behind me. But since I looped instantly, the time they finally realize that I've looped, I'm already like really, really, really gone. You know what I mean? Those shots were okay. I thought I could get the down there, but I couldn't. Um, yeah. This guy is a god. Like, I, I literally like couldn't get this guy. I couldn't get a good shot on him. He's just stalling for his team. I, cu I couldn't even believe how insane this guy was. I keep asking Pi if he can get me UAV. And I know his boys are coming now too, so I'm trying to catch somebody on a rotation. I'm like telling Pi, like, I kind of just want Pi Man to give me like a time. Like, hey, I can get UAV in 10 seconds, so I know how slow I can play it. But I didn't really specify that. He's also not giving me that information, so I kind of just yellowed it. I feel confident pushing this guy because I got my origin. One shot. This is risky. If this guy wasn't a bot, I could have died here. Alright. So, 
the reason why Pie Man can see these guys and I can't is because he has a VSAT. So this is going to take a second to explain. I'm sure there's YouTube videos talking about it, but Ghost only works at a certain range. So if you're close enough to somebody and they have Ghost, the UAV won't spot them. But if you're far enough away, but they're still within the UAV range, they'll pop up on your UAV and tell you close enough. That's why I'm assuming you guys will probably play this game, and you'll see somebody on a UAV, and when you start running towards them, they'll disappear. It's not because they just got Ghost, it's because they've always had it, and that's how UAVs work. So whenever you are chasing people that could have Ghost, you want to ping on your map where they could be when you see them on the map, and then delete it if they don't have Ghost, but then keep it on if they do. Um... So the reason why this is different is because we have a VSAT. So that means Pie Man can see everyone. He can see everyone on the map that isn't a ghost player right beside him. So what I can do right now is I can pull up my map and say, Pie Man, there's a whole ghost team right beside you that you can't see because they are too close to him on the map. But since these people are obviously on the other side of Pi other side of the map of Pie Man, and I know there's people over there, I'm asking him, hey dude. Because you know, you know when I down the guy in the school, I'm saying, hey dude, how many people are by me? Because I need, I wanted to know, like, is it a group of two? Is it one? How many people are at the school? Tell me. And he's communicating that it's only two. But I make the decision that, you know what, dude? It's not worth it for me to fight two ghost players. Um, so I'm going to go towards this fight. Because there's what? There's like eight people here. No, there's, like, there's like ten people here, actually. And to my knowledge, they don't have ghost, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck. I have 31 kills. I have 31 kills. There's 40 left. And I think Pie Man has like high 20s right now. Or he even has 30. So, just to remind you guys, he's 28 and I have 31. We only need 15 more kills to get world record. And there's 41 people left chat. So, we need 15 kills. We can easily get world record here. Like, like I'm not even joking. This is easy as hell. So, this is where it gets bad. This is where the mistake comes. Uh, the VSAT wore off. I was busy talking about the world record, so I kept pushing. And we pop a UAV, only for it to be revealed that everyone over here actually had Ghost. And now that I'm close enough... Uh, I'm seeing the truth, but I'm in a bad spot because one, I need kills. Uh, we need kills for the world record and I'm already here. So what am I going to do? Um, I think the best possible situation here is probably for me to hold one of these buildings up here and catch the people rotating in after they win the fight. Um, this is all hindsight though. When you're in the game and you're on a world record heater, like it's really hard to make this decision, but it needs to be made. Um, or I group with Pie Man. If I group with Pie Man here, we could definitely take out 15 of these bots with, by each other. Um, but we just never, we just thought we would have it because this whole game has been easy. Um, Pie Man dies. I have a free down, so I go for it, which I'm happy with, but... There is a whole... There's there's still two ghost teams here. I messed up some shots. I wasn't sure how many people were here. Get a clutch down. And the ghost team shoots me in the back. Pie Man dies in the Gulag. We have 61 kills right now. We only need 13 more kills. Pistol Gulag. I never win these. I have health advantage. Somehow none of those shots hit. And did he regen at the last second? Oh my god, I didn't even see this. He's 10 HP, so I'm going for any shot here. Wow, my shot did 8 damage. I actually got screwed. And we lost world record, just like that. So, it was an amazing game. Uh, hopefully you guys could learn a little bit about positioning and fighting. But, it is what it is. And, just like that, we lost our world record. Um...
yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this non-live commentary style, but just post-game commentary. Um, I'm down to do more of these in the future. I also just want to say, guys, if you uh, if you have been supporting the channel with likes and stuff, it is super, super, super noticeable. Uh, the Phase 5 challenge so far is going amazing. You guys are showing so much love on all the content. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know in the comments and like the video. Uh... Yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. And currently we are doing on stream uh, $50 giveaways every single time our videos hit 700 likes. So if you guys want to uh, potentially win 50 bucks for free, um, head over to my Twitch channel uh, after we're done uploading a video and check out the stream. And yeah, we do giveaways every single day. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary a little bit. Again, I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I just woke up and sometimes... I sound like this when I wake up. But yeah. Peace, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for all the support lately. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.